I know that you've been uh, hearing broken promises for decades about the redevelopment of Liberty Square and other public housing communities. And I'm here tonight to tell you that the promises that I made have not been broken. Families are afraid that they're going to be broken up. And when you start moving people out, you know, they won't be able to stay in this area. So people say that at that time, people had their own gardens in the Living Square Housing Project. People slept with their doors and windows open. Everybody knew everybody. People took care of each other's children. Uh, you rarely heard of uh, people being harmed or, or, or threatened. I'm here to reiterate my commitment to doing the right thing for the residents of Liberty Square. The project opened in February of 1937 to great fanfare. It had already been the number one visited site, uh, tourist site in South Florida. The one thing our parents told us, you couldn't go on the other side of the wall, because on the other side was, it was white. It was nice, it was beautiful. We could leave our doors open, go to work, go to sleep, and we had to worry about nobody breaking in or anything like that. Our goal all along has been to work together to build a new Liberty Square because you all deserve it and it's the right thing to do. When they're living in a war, they can't run from it because it's there. This is where we are in a war. We can't run from it because the next house we go to, it's over there too. You understand? So that's what we need to clean up, the violence. So here's a community that um, has more than, than sort of superficial needs and where media coverage can, can do something beyond simply, uh, you know, getting, getting web clicks. Flashing lights, bullet holes, and teddy bear memorials have become so common here in the Liberty Square housing project. Ask any neighbor and they'll point out multiple spots around their homes where people were murdered. Words matter how you describe places and how you reference them because then it becomes like a tag. You know, again, when, when you normally hear about Liberty City, it comes with a preceding adjective, crime-stricken, um, crime-ridden. Miami-Dade County Mayor Carlos Jimenez announced his plans to transform Liberty Square, instilling hope and even bringing tears to some eyes that have seen tragedy after tragedy. Y'all don't live there, and some people have been there all their lives. And it's not a bad thing, it's bad. That's where they're comfortable at. That's a historical site. We are concerned about fairness. We are concerned about injustice and making sure that people have the right to choose. People here want to keep their legacy going on. There's a lot of people that grew up in this area who like to see the legacy of this area keep going. A lot of people don't know their history and what we have because once it's gone, you can't recoup it. And if you don't talk about it, if you don't share it, the young people don't know it. They don't know what they have. And if we don't fight to keep it, you know, it's gone.